Disclaimer, no cats were intentionally harmed in the creation of this video. From 1984 to 1987, 132 unfortunate cats were brought to clinics after falling from New York City skyscrapers. The average fall was 5 stories, with some cats falling from as many as 32. However, 90% of these cats survived the falls ranging from hundreds to thousands of feet, and injury rates and death rates decreased as the height of the falls increased. How could this be possible? To first explain this phenomenon, we must look at how cats are able to land effectively in general. As creatures evolve to live in tall trees, cats have aerial riding reflex, a technique that allows them to angle their bodies towards the ground from any mid-air position so they can land on their feet. Scientists were once perplexed by this process as it seems to violate the law of conservation of angular momentum, which states that all angular forces in a system must add up to be zero. For a cat to flip themselves, they introduce an angular force that doesn't seem to be cancelled out by another equal angular force, as no external forces are acting on them and they have nothing to transfer their angular momentum to. So how is their technique consistent with physics? Instead of viewing the cat as a single rigid object, scientists found the answer by viewing it as two separate cylinders defined along the cat's flexible spine comprising the front and back of the cat. Each cylinder has a rotational axis, and these axes are connected on one point which marks the cat's waist. The cat uses its eyes and ears to detect that it's falling and needs to flip itself over, so it begins turning its upper body around clockwise and the lower body counterclockwise. Net angular momentum is conserved as both actions are equal and opposite. However, these equal and opposite directions would snap the cat's spine, so it must introduce a new element into the equation, the pause. By sticking the paws out and away from the rotational axes, turning becomes more difficult because it increases inertia, a force that resists movement without altering the actual angular momentum. By tucking them in, inertia is decreased and the turning becomes easier. The cat tucks its front paws in and extends the back legs out so the upper body turns normally and the lower body almost doesn't turn at all. Then when the upper body is facing the ground, the cat performs a motion opposite the last where it turns the upper body counterclockwise and the lower body clockwise, so the lower body will face the ground like the upper body. To prevent the upper body from reverting to its original position, it extends its front legs out so the motion is resisted and tucks the back legs in so they move normally. Inertia has not altered angular momentum in either case, so it is conserved. The cat now arches its back and lands safely from its 10-foot fall. But how can they survive falls from 32 stories, and why do higher falls increase survivability? The answer lies in the physics behind a collision. We can derive from Newton's laws and the kinematic equations that an object's mass multiplied by its change in velocity divided by the duration of the collision is equal to the force applied to that object. This force is what ultimately kills the cat. Therefore, large masses, high velocities, and quick collisions are more deadly as they produce higher forces. A cat has no control over its mass or velocity, but it can control the length of the collision by how it positions its body. Because of aerial riding reflex, cats will arch their backs and become very stiff when falling, allowing for short and dangerous collisions during high falls. But it is theorized that when a cat reaches its terminal velocity, a feat only achieved when it falls from higher stories, it believes it is no longer falling. So it spreads itself out and relaxes its spine. The less stiff the cat, the longer the collision, and the longer the collision, the less force applied to the cat. Thus, the longer they fall, the more likely they are to relax, making higher falls less deadly. These cat physics may seem anecdotal, but there may be deeper meaning lying within. The control system problem demonstrated by the two cylinders gives rise to unique approaches to engineering, and NASA has invested research into teaching astronauts to right themselves like cats in zero-gravity situations. With scientists still studying cat movements to this day, our little furry friends have certainly opened doors for discovery.